Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where uh, I learn about plants and I take you along with me. So if you're interested in that or you just like watching some people struggle with plants, hit the subscribe button and come hang out. So I've been looking at my my uh, Peperomia obtusifolia and one half. Now this plant I had originally put a whole bunch of different plants in here. They all looked a little different when I first moved here. So two of them are doing great. And then one of them is not. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I'm dealing with. Be right back. All right guys, so. Do you see right here? This is like a little net. And I've been Pulling it out and bringing it over here. Sorry, that's my heat finally kicking on. I mean, it's only like 10 degrees outside. Cool. But, um, it's like little nets for starter pot, starter plants, I guess. And, uh, I had pulled one out. This is what the root system looks like when they're in those nets. I mean, they are so small. And at some point, I think the plant just gets too big. And there's not enough roots to support it. And then it starts getting floppy. And, uh, yeah, so we got that. Now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm trying to cut out the netting. And, uh, try to, hopefully, I'm going to pull these guys out to try to, uh, to rehab them. Because, you know, half of the plant, these guys I got back in New York, these two, and they didn't have those little nets on uh, their roots, and I didn't notice them when I was throwing them all in here, because I was, you know, rushing to move, so yeah, so that's uh, what we're going to do, so I'm going to set you up so you can watch me struggle while I do this, right? Yeah, sounds like fun. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so... The soil is also really dry. I've been watering this, but I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to repot this. Just not today, because I don't have another pot. I also don't want to mess with the roots. So this guy maybe doesn't have a netting, but he does not look good. Let's see. Let's see, like, look at that. Like, Just trying to break up the soil around him to hopefully let some of the water get to the roots so that it can grow. Oh no, see there is. I don't know if you could see that. Right here is that netting. And that's that's the issue. See, I knew it. And try not to make a mess. Oh, and that's gonna fail miserably. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. You can see. This is the little netting I'm talking about. Now, if it was just around, it probably wouldn't be such an issue. But these little nettings have a bottom, and that's the issue. It restricts the roots. Only a few of the roots can even get through. Make sure you can see what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. Like there's a bottom. If it was just wrapped around, the roots could still grow down and out. But because it's like this, they can't. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to go through like all of my plants this spring to remove these. At least the plants that I got while I'm here at school because this is new. I haven't seen this before. Um, I've seen like the cloth kind of bags, but the roots can break through those easily. Where this like, this one little root broke through. You know, there's a couple of roots down here, but you know, it, it eventually leads to a dead plant. So I'm going to find my scissors. I lost my scissors. Mm. 
Of course I did. How? How did I do that? Can anybody tell me how? They're right here. They're in the dirt. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's, it's late. Alright, so... Oh, man. I'm gonna pull these off, put them in water, like I did the other one, and try to reroot them, I guess, because they have some roots, which is good, but they need more for the amount of plant, and I'm gonna end up breaking the roots off, because I'm not gonna be able to pull this, pull this off without doing that, which is really frustrating. Okay. So, I'm going to do that with this. I'm going to stick this guy in water with his friend. I'm going to pull this off, and I'm also going to check this plant. Can I just pull you up? Okay, so this guy didn't have any, and he's also actually doing okay, but he has such a limited amount of roots. I'm also going to throw him in the water, too just to try to help. Part of why they might not be doing so great is also because I was gone for a couple of weeks and uh, these guys kind of like water and if their roots aren't developed enough they can they can kind of dry out. So that's what we're doing here. And I guess this pot's gonna just look funky for a little bit with only half a plant in there. But, nurseries, please stop doing this. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, so, this is what we got. The roots are kind of okay. Try to show you. They're kind of okay. But we're going to try to rehab them in water. And, yeah. <sighs> now, I know these two plants. Let me move it. Hold up. So, I know these two plants don't have those pots because when I bought them, um, when they were bought, were in New York. And I, I've never seen those little nettings before. And also, um, I had pulled all of the dirt off of these pots plants when I potted them up. The other ones I kind of had to shove in um, just because, uh, you know, I need space. So, all right. So, this is what we got going on right now. Hopefully, they can soak up some water. I have some water in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if these guys bounce back, grow some more roots, and then I can pop them back up into this pot and fill it out again. But, yeah, this is just, uh, some maintenance uh, that I, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do for the rest of my plants. I'm gonna have to check them all. Well, I guess I won't be, won't be bored this summer, right? I'll be busy. Or spring, too. Alright, so... Until next time, guys, relax, plant, and peace out.